quick, what are you doing in this situation? Are you gonna dodge? Give it a hug? Fight back? Nope, you're gonna die. You're absolutely cooked. Believe it or not, but a snake this size used to actually exist. This snake was called the Titanoboa. People think it went extinct 60 million years ago, but I have reasons to believe that it still exists. And I have a three-step plan to prove this. First, I'm gonna learn as much as I can about snakes, including the Titanoboa. Second, I'm gonna go investigate the Titanoboa fossils. And then third and finally, I'm gonna meet up with a snake hunter. And not only are we gonna hunt a snake down, but we are gonna hunt the biggest snake possible down. My first stop was at the zoo to learn a little bit more about snakes. Okay. I feel like the first step, we gotta we gotta figure out how snakes act, what they do, where they go, what their habits are. Mm -hmm. And then we can find, we can use that information we gather to find the Titanoboa. This is one I actually think is still out there. I mean, I think I think there's a chance it's here in Florida. I mean, we're gonna go with a snake hunter later. Yeah. Maybe we can set them free and then they can take us to their leader, which is the Titanoboa. Yes. We looked through the snakes to see if there was anything we could learn that might help us possibly find the Titanoboa, but I mean, this didn't really help as much as I thought. I don't know, I just love their little tongue. You like that guy? I love it. It's, they're so cute. What I did learn though was that the Titanoboa is a type of boa, and there are still boas that exist, like the boa constrictor. They can get pretty large, some large snakes. So we headed to the next spot where they apparently had the one and only Titanoboa fossil on display. When they found it, they were looking through a coal mine in northern Colombia, and they found some stuff that pointed to the area previously being a rainforest. They found a ton of different fossils, and then they found this. They originally thought it was a species of crocodile because of how big it was, but then they later discovered that that it was the largest snake to ever exist, the Titanoboa. All right, we're going into the Florida Museum of Natural History to find out more about the Titanoboa. Apparently they have fossils here, and probably I would assume someone who knows a lot about the big snake. I'll be honest, their fossils are fake as f But you just don't even think it's real? Yeah. Maybe, maybe like the guy with the fossils is like, yeah, this, these are a week old. I got this last week. This is kind of crazy. This fish is the reason I believe the Titanoboa could exist, the Megalodon could exist, all of these things. They believe this fish went extinct like 30 million years ago or something. And then they found one like 10 years ago. And they're like, oh, we were wrong. Believed to be extinct with the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. Was rediscovered in 1938. Oh, I, I got the details very wrong. They're supposed to have fossils and stuff, but we gotta find them. So I had heard the Titanoboa fossil was on public display. So we looked through literally hundreds of very wild fossils. This is us somewhere down here. Well, this okay. is an old map, yeah, so. Now and this would be where the Titanoboa is. I think it's realistic. It slithered its way up to Florida. I think we could find it with the snake lady. If there's anybody that would know we're a giant, massive. It doesn't exist. I'm starting to think it never existed. The Titanoboa? <laughs> yeah. Bro, I've never been telling you, bro. Why? Yeah, I actually don't think they have it here. Because oh. it never did. Extinct <gasps> sea snake. Ahoy, snakey. Wait, where's where's its name? Ahoy, snake. That's the name. So what? Is this the Titanoboa? This is no. It's not even the Titanoboa. It's just an ancient sea snake. Huh. Oh. Actually, that's way too big, I think. We could not find the Titanoboa fossil anywhere. But then, we got extremely lucky because someone that worked there passed by us. Do you know where the Titanoboa is? Do you guys have any fossils of it, or no? No, unfortunately, that is not here on public display. They are uh, kept in the uh, collection building, which is not here, unfortunately. Oh. Um, it literally just disappeared in 2018. I don't know where the fossil has been. It wasn't in the collections, like the guy said. It wasn't even in another museum traveling. So I contacted some of the scientists that helped discover the Titanoboa, and a ton of other experts. And now we just had to wait. And in the meantime, we went to meet up with the python huntress. Which, by the way, pythons are the longest snake species living today. Even even recently, a world record length one was found. Alright boys and girls, we're now to where it gets real. We're going to meet up with a literal snake hunter, a python hunter. She sees hundreds if not thousands of snakes. So maybe she has seen the snake, a snake the size of the Titanoboa. And maybe she would know. I feel like if anybody, there was anybody to ask, be a snake hunter. Amy Seawee is known as the Python Huntress. Yeah. 
Well, tonight we're actually going to be hunting the invasive pythons here in okay. Florida. They are not supposed to be here. They've eaten 98% of the mammals and parts of the Everglades. Wow. So they're a big problem. So sometimes we don't get any. Yeah. Uh, a couple nights ago we got four. Problem is there's over 500,000 of them out there. So we have to literally drive up and down the roads and levees waiting for them to move. They spend 85% of their time not moving. What's the biggest snake that you've, you've caught? 17'3", 110 pounds. Wow, yep. that, is, that is scarily large. We're gonna be up on the snake deck here, looking over the sides, and as soon as somebody sees a python, we're gonna yell python, jump out of the truck. <laughs> Let's get into it, I'm excited. <laughs> All right. So we headed out to the Florida wilderness, and I honestly don't know what's crazier, the fact that this lady is a literal snake hunter, or the fact that you can make literal free money playing video games with today's sponsor, Free Cash. How dangerous is it to catch one? I mean, it's not fun to get bitten. I've been bitten many, many, many times. They've got a mouthful of razor sharp teeth. That's why we signed the waivers. <laughs> <laughs> but with free cash, all you have to do is sign up with your email and then get to playing. It's not even dangerous, like... Team that I got, if she wanted to eat me, like, no problem. She would yeah. barely have to even put her jaws to make me not buy it. It might seem a little bit sus, but it does just give you games or surveys that you can choose from to get paid. But instead, I was just getting a lot more scared for what we were about to do. I could have made this amount of money in the exact amount of time we spent in the car. By the way, this is what I actually made using the app for an hour. If you have a lot of time on your hands or are ever just bored, just scan this QR code or click the link in my bio to sign up and start getting paid to play video games. I'm like the opposite of Indiana Jones. He's afraid of snakes. I'm seeking them. <laughs> I'm going to hunt them. Are you scared of snakes or not? I mean, I'm sure I would be scared right in front of one. Yeah. One hand on the rail. Okay, we're good. This is this is so cool. <laughs> it's a fun job. And people have awesome. all kinds of different ways of of hunting. I like to cover ground because, like I said, you know, they spend 85% of their time not moving. We can cover ground and get them, you know, whenever they're coming out. That's what we want to do. That was from last night. Okay. That's what a python looks like. That seems scary to hold, <laughs> but I want it so bad. I'm not gonna lie, I cut a ton out because we were just locked in, looking absolutely everywhere trying to find a python, and we literally weren't talking. I wonder if we dress up like a big snake, if we could uh, find the python easy. Well, if you want to do that, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> to find the snake, we have to become the snake. <laughs> yeah. Three hours in, still looking for the big game, the python. Yeah, we're honestly locked in right now. We are locked in. Doctor diagnosed us with locked in syndrome. Um, we're just literally looking at every blade of grass, every tree, every piece of dirt until we find the python and we take them and we eat them. And after that, we eventually did find something. Oh yeah, oh my gosh. So that's a brown water snake, so he's not venomous. Oh yeah. He's one of our <laughs> natives that we like. He's Can chill. We get him? He's chill. Blue chill. Yeah. So he doesn't really know what's happening to him right now. If I would get him behind the head, he'd be like super pissed. So I'm going to put him across the street because he was going to cross um, just because he'll be dead if I don't. And one native is saved tonight, so that's a good night. That unfortunately was not the Titanoboa, and not a large snake at all. But we kept looking, and we started finding more and more snakes, and by a twist of events, saving them. Stop, go back. It's not a python, but it's a, it's a, I think it might be a cottonmouth though. Keep going, keep going. Stop, yep, it's cottonmouth. See him right there? Oh and there are bugs out. So I've noticed that when bugs come out, pythons are out. When cottonmouths are on the move, pythons are usually out. Is so, that a black one right there? So this is a good yep. sign. This is like a yeah. sign of good luck. For sure. That's his defense mechanism. We went to, from hunting them down to being their friends. <laughs> Wholesome moment. <laughs> At this point, we had been searching for hours. It was almost 1 a.m. I just wanted to find a huge snake more than anything, but it was so late that I was getting very delusional. There is one thing I can do for the snakes. You open your eyes wider, you can see more. Uh, snake with a lisp. <laughs> this looks stupid. <laughs> Somewhere in an alternate reality, I think 
this exact situation is happening, except we're all snakes. Me and you are snakes. Snake Gavin and Snake Ethan, and we're looking for humans. Uh huh. Okay. We're looking for humans in the bushes. I can see how. I can see that. An alternate reality. Yeah, in some alternate reality. Hmm. And they're like, damn, where are all these humans hiding? Well, they're probably saying like, stop right there, snake. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just saying, stop right there, snake. That was really stupid. Out. It was the end of the night, and unfortunately, we weren't able to find any huge snakes. Nothing close to the Titanoboa. Not even really slightly large. I was packing more than these snakes. So I decided to at least ask her the main question I've been curious about. So if you ran into a Titanoboa, what would be the strategy to catch it? Shoot it in the head. <laughs> I would not... I would not be trying to wrestle that thing. <laughs> that, would, that would be like, oh, whatever. I'm just gonna like... I'm just gonna run, run over you. Do you think it's possible one could still exist in the world? No, I think they would have found it. Fair. I think it would be awesome. I would love to believe that, that there's one out there, but it's kind of like Bigfoot, you know? Yeah, <laughs> Bigfoot snakes. I know everybody has their like thing about Bigfoot, but I unless I see a real one, I still feel like, I know that they're, you know, discovering new species all the time, I just feel like if there was, the way that these things breed and everything, there would be, we would have already known. Like, we would know about yeah. it. And even though they're good at hiding, you know, like a 50 foot snake. All right, let's, let's imagine they're both real. Bigfoot versus Titanoboa, who's winning? <laughs> the boa, for sure. Swallow Bigfoot whole. For so, it looks very unlikely that the Titanoboa exists today. However, I found it very odd that none of the fossils have been on public display since 2018. And also, none of the researchers would respond to me after weeks of emailing a ton of different ones. For a second, I had my own conspiracy and thought they maybe misidentified the fossil and it wasn't actually a Titanoboa, but I don't think that's true. As for different snakes being the same size as the Titanoboa was, I personally think it's kind of possible. Although the Python Huntress didn't seem to think that, and it would be, it would be a huge gap from 26 feet to 50 plus feet. Sorry I couldn't find a fossil or talk to any expert. I really, really tried. Subscribe at 2 million. I'm collabing with the biggest paranormal YouTuber, Sam and Colby. I pay the most viewed clip on TikTok $250 every week from any of my videos. And don't forget to check out freecash.com. We're living in the future. You can get money to play video games. I love you guys. What mystery, adventure, quests should I go on next?